So if you guys can't tell, I'm uh, painting a timing cover today. Seems to be going okay. We know we're shit. Yeah. Thanks for watching the Daily Drift. So guys, thanks again for tuning in. I'm really glad you all made it. But today I got something kind of boring but kind of fun. I'm going to be popping out this little seal you got here in the front of the timing cover because we're going to be repainting this thing as well as the front of the oil pump thing, the oil filter housing. I'm just repainting them because I want it to look nice since we just got done painting the block, which looks really good. If you haven't seen it, here's a little uh, taste of what it looks like. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Um, I think it came out really nice. So we want to make these things look just as nice. Um, but before I paint it, I want to get that old seal out. So that way I'm not messing with screwing up my new paint job potentially. So we're going to change out this lower crankshaft seal just to make sure it's one less possible leak. So let's get to it. First thing that we need, a giant ass socket. I don't know if this is going to fit, but we're going to try it. And that would be a big fat no. So I found this big mamma jamma, but I think it's actually too big. So the other one was too small, this one is too big. We need to find the one that's just right. So after searching, I couldn't find a socket that fits this right. So I'm gonna do it the old fashioned way with a screwdriver and a hammer and just, I'm gonna do my best not to scrape this thing up. When it comes to installing the new one, I think that big fat one will work just fine. Let's see what happens. Wish me some luck. All right, let's hammer this sucker out. I got a little screwdriver, big ass hammer. And we'll see what happens. Doesn't look like much. So any predictions on whether or not I totally screw this up? Put them down in the comments. Whoops, I just literally poked a hole in it. Oh, there we go. I think I got it. Hey, look at that. We got her out. Which is good, because this thing does not look too healthy. Well, I didn't exactly screw it up. Y'all ever have this problem where you're like, I can't get my hand in the damn glove? I don't know why I always struggle with these stupid gloves, but I really like having them because especially when I'm dealing with all this like grease and shit, it's nice to be able to just pop the glove off and good to go, you know? So yeah, this is the uh, the new one. I got a Victor Rhines. There's the uh, part number if you need it. So this thing should pop right in here. I'm not going to just pop it in. What I need to do is get something to clean this out real good. We're going to clean it and then I'm going to put this in there and it just basically presses in. Good old Brillo pad. We should be able to get this thing nice and clean. Just have to be careful because it's aluminum and I don't want to take off too much stuff. But I want to make sure to get rid of any of the old gunk. Because if you look in here, that little gunk and stuff in there, that's what we got to get out. So we're just going to be very careful and just make sure to clean it really nice. When I said I would deliver high quality content, you knew exactly what I meant. Cleaning aluminum. It's one of the best things you can do, really. Just sit there and rub with your scrub-a-dub-dub. Sit there, drink your coffee, and continue to rub on this aluminum until eventually it comes out looking all nice and shiny. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Nothing replaces that feeling. Nothing replaces the feeling of a nice, smooth piece of aluminum. Yeah, you know what I mean. Big problem I found is right here, there's this little nick. And that's from somebody trying to take this thing off in a way that they shouldn't. So, I'm going to have to file that down. Other than that, it looks pretty good. So I'm being extremely careful here, and all I'm doing is I'm running the file just to get it to where it's smooth. I'm using a flat ass file. So you can see there it's knocked pretty much all the way back. I knocked off the edge. This side's been bent out that way. I'm going to try to file that back a little bit, but we should be okay. So I just realized that mine, this thing is like knocked halfway out, this little dowel pin here. So we got to get this dowel pin out. Um, I'm basically just going to smag it with a hammer and that should do it. Hopefully I don't crack it. No guarantees. Here we go. Oh, that seemed to work pretty well. My idea is I'm gonna use it kind of like a uh, like an awl. Oh yeah, that's working good. Boom, look at that. And I am definitely saving this because we all know how easily I lose very cheap and expensive parts. So we're gonna keep this one for later. So now all we gotta do is basically spray this thing off with some brake clean and then we should be able to uh, put the seals in. Let's do it. talking about now that is one good looking part I'd say it's nice and clean everything's nice and shiny 
all the parts are nice and good. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on putting the seal in, now that I know everything's clean. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my seal, and I'm gonna wipe it down real good, make sure it's nice and clean, and then I'm gonna take a little bit of this here donkey oil, or dino oil, or I don't know why I call it donkey oil, but it has nothing to do with donkeys, it's all about dinosaurs. And I'm just lubing the edge, right? I'm gonna do a little loop in here with some oil just to make it nice and smooth, just because I want it to go in smooth and I don't want to get stuck or break or anything like that. You can see inside here you got the spring, see inside there you got this little spring side, and then you got this like flat side, right? So the flat side's gonna be facing out. So when we go to do this, what we're doing is we're popping this side inside there as flush as possible. So we wanna get it nice and flush, and then we're gonna tap it in with a hammer. It's not that complicated, but you can easily break them. I've broken these things before, and we definitely don't wanna do that. Woo! Now we're gonna use this big ass bastard. All right, let's see what happens. That fits that just about perfectly. Okay, so that's what I was afraid of. I got one little corner in, so I'm gonna try to pop this corner in to bring it in, but I need to be very careful here. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Oh, what the flippity fluke? You guys missed it, but I just flung uh, brake fluid everywhere by hitting this bench. It just went flying, and literally this brake fluid just went all over. It's all over my hair and everything. Ugh. I do not like brake fluid. It's down here. This is the culprit. That's what I get for leaving it out there without a lid on. I'm such a DTD sometimes. Yep. All right, we're flush. It's nice and flush. Everything looks good. So now I can get back to uh, getting this thing ready and painting it. Silent nights recalling you. A souvenir of what it could be. Pieces of my I always paint on the windiest damn days. I don't know why. Always. Every time. It's how you can make the best paint job ever. It's just spray right into the wind and just see what happens. It'll just carry it exactly where it's supposed to be. <laughs> Obviously that's not true. Okay, so I'm just gonna let that thing dry off and then we're gonna go get started cleaning the other part. So all I'm doing with this is just spraying it down with some of this and it should be good to go. We'll let the degreaser do its work. I don't know what it is, but there's just something that's really satisfying about cleaning parts. Taking something that's really nasty like this and turning it into something that's pretty awesome. Wow, that's a big ass bee. I don't like bees if you can't tell. Jesus Christ. That thing's massive. That's not a bee. That's something else. What is that? Check this sucker out. You ever seen that before? What in the fuck? Hey, if you know what that is, put it down in the comments. I've never seen a bug like that. We got some crazy ass looking bugs here in Texas. What the fuck is that thing? Take a look at how good this looks after I spray this thing off. Now, I know that that's not perfect, but uh, that's way better than what it was before. So I'm gonna keep scrubbing on this. I'm gonna get this thing as clean as I can so that way I can put a layer of paint on it, but that's way, way better, I think. So guys, I know this isn't exactly perfect, but uh, it's about the best I can do for now, and I think it's gonna work. So you can see that I got it nice and cleaned up. Everything's good, and now we're just gonna spray it with some black paint. I got the underside all taped up. All the uh, thread holes are covered. So we should be good.
So I'm going to say that was pretty good. Uh, we're going to let this thing dry and it's pretty much all I'm going to get done today. So I got to let this and the other one dry completely before we keep moving. So hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see y'all in the next one. So if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit the subscribe button and be sure to stay tuned for our next episode. So it looks like we ran into another problem. For some reason, my timing cover is not sitting flush. It's very slight, but you can see that it's not set in flush. Like I can rub my hand and there's a little bit of a lip. So guys, like normal, I discovered the problem. They sent me the wrong timing cover.